my dog has been acting different and I found out our teenage son sodomized it. Okay, for obvious reasons this is a throwaway account. So, I'm not even sure how to start here. The last couple of weeks my dog, 7-year-old lab, has been acting noticeably different. I guess I could describe it as distant and even depressed. He is normally an extremely outgoing and happy dog, very playful and energetic etc. But starting about two weeks ago he started acting very withdrawn and nervous around people, even his own family. At first I kind of brushed it off as feeling under the weather, but after about a week and a half I decided maybe he needed to see a vet. I got him in yesterday and after an examination the vet told me that he believes the dog has been sodomized. His anus had slight damage in a way that was consistent with that sort of thing. He said he can't really imagine that his injuries could have come about any other way. So already now I'm pretty upset and sort of freaking out. Who would do this sort of thing to a dog? I thought about all of the people that had access to the dog in my backyard. Gardeners crossed my mind, my neighbors, etc. The only people that live in the house are my wife, myself, and our teenaged son. I came home and thought about it for a while. I had this really ugly sinking feeling in my stomach about the possibility that it could have been my son. I decided to look around his room. I didn't really know what I was expecting to find and I didn't really find anything in there that screamed guilty, until I decided to check his browser history. I found he had been on a bestiality forum recently and a site with pictures of that sort of thing. I felt like I was going to throw up. Now I know that this isn't definitive proof of anything, but it sure doesn't look good. The more I think about it, the more I am convinced my son has been sodomizing our dog. I haven't told my wife yet or done anything about it. I have not left him alone with the dog since. I am totally confused and upset and don't really know how to proceed with this. Reddit, please, please help. Edit. Thank you for all your advice to those of you who are serious. I understand this seems like a joke to some of you but it's not to me, so for those of you that gave real advice, thank you. I think I'm going to take your advice and confront him about it privately, without involving my wife. It is not going to be an easy conversation but it has to happen. My only worry is the possibility that he isn't guilty of this and somebody else did it. I guess then we still need to talk about what I found on his computer anyways. Ugh. FML. Thank you for being there for me Reddit. Edit 2. Okay, my son just got home. I'm going to have the conversation with him when I can get a moment alone and I will come back and let you guys know what happened. Edit 3. Okay, just spoke to my son. Before I get into our talk, let me quickly say thank you all again for your incredible advice and support, there were a lot of really really helpful suggestions in here, and I took some of your advice. Anyways, our family had dinner and did our usual nighttime stuff. My wife and I watched TV, son was in his room after dinner like all teenagers are, and dog, obviously, was with me. I waited for my wife to go to bed, which felt like forever because I was so nervous, but she finally did about an hour ago and I went into my son's room to have the talk. I basically said listen, I noticed the dog has been acting weird, I took him to the vet, I found out someone has sodomized him, any ideas what might have happened? I looked at my son and he seemed ever so slightly nervous but pretended to know nothing about it. I expected this, so I brought up the sites I found on his computer. Naturally, this made him pretty upset and he got really indignant at the thought that I snooped around on his computer. Fair enough, I get it. But I got him back to the point and tried to be as understanding and fatherly as I could and just told him that whatever happened I am not going to judge him and he's not going to be punished I just need to know the truth. After about 10 to 15 minutes of this he finally breaks down and admits that he put the handle of a hairbrush as well as fingers into the dog a few times during a day last week. He said he wasn't trying to hurt him and he stopped when the dog at one point freaked out. He said he didn't think he hurt it that bad and he was too embarrassed to tell us or do anything about it. I believed him in this, but he also didn't give a very satisfactory answer as to why exactly he would do this in the first place. I have to admit, either way, I was glad on some level to hear that he wasn't actually having sex with the dog. So basically, we agreed that I wouldn't tell his mom, but that we would find a reason to tell her that he needs to see a therapist for a bit. I know I told him I wouldn't tell his mother, but the more I think about all of this the more I think I may eventually have to go back on that promise. As for now, the dog is staying with the family, and obviously I made him swear up and down that he will not touch the dog like that again under threat of severe consequences. It's too early to tell if he feels remorse or is just humiliated. It's hard to say. It was very uncomfortable for both of us, but especially my son. I'm sure we can all imagine. Thank you all again so incredibly much for your support, advice, understanding, and love for both the dog and my son. I have to admit, some of you even made me laugh at a few things I didn't want to. Thanks again Reddit. Edit 4. Due to the outpouring of concern and help from you guys I will update in a week or so and let you know what's happened. 
Today I located a therapist that specializes in teenagers, I made a preliminary appointment for my son to go in and talk to her. I disclosed to her some of the issues, without getting into too much detail. For now my son does not know this, but it will be a helpful for her to have some idea of what we're dealing with. My dog is still not in the best of spirits, but seems to be making progress. I went for a walk with him today and he was more playful than he has been the past week. I've been trying to be extra good to him as well and the love seems to be helping slowly bring the happiness back into his eyes. Can't say I'm still not a little peeved about what happened, but I feel like to show my son that I am too upset might be damaging right now. I think we just need to find out why he thought this was okay. As for the brush handle, some of you bring up a good point. I should ask him to throw whichever brush that is away. For some reason, that didn't even cross my mind. Yikes. Anyways, I'll give you all an update on the situation in a week. Thanks again. Update 2. Long story short, two months ago I took my dog Colby to the vet after he was acting weird. The vet determined the dog may have been sodomized. After a lot of thought, I checked the browser history on my son's computer and found he had been viewing pictures of bestiality and seemed to be active in a forum about it. I confronted him and he admitted to sodomizing our dog with the handle of a hairbrush and his fingers. After asking Reddit for help, I decided to put him in therapy and not let my wife know about the issue and tell her he just wanted to talk to somebody professionally. Well this morning I caught my son in the backyard holding onto Colby's genitals while playing tug of war with him. Granted this isn't sodomization and the dog seemed to be okay, but my son was basically grabbing and massaging the dog's privates as he held him in place under the guise of a tug of war game. Obviously I stormed outside and grabbed him in anger and we had a very serious and angry talk. He had promised me to never treat the dog in any remotely inappropriate way after our last incident. I put him in his room for the rest of the day. My wife is still at work, and I do not know what to do. I am at my wit's end. Apparently, therapy has not been working. Reddit? How do I deal with this? I think I have to tell my wife now, which is not exciting since she has been in the dark about the sodomizing incident for two months. I am not sure how to deal with all of this. You guys really helped me last time. Any advice is appreciated. Thank you. Update. Okay, well that didn't go so well. My wife got home not too long after I put this up. I told her pretty much right off the bat that I messed up pretty bad and that I found out two months ago that our son had admitted to me he sodomized the dog with a hairbrush handle in his fingers. I told her that this was why I had wanted him in therapy and that he wasn't comfortable with her knowing and I made him a fatherly promise under the condition he never do anything like that again. Needless to say she was pretty shocked and upset. Then I told her what I saw today and she got even more upset. It went from a few minutes of anger to tears. She is pretty pissed off at me and pretty upset about our son and Colby, obviously. I feel like shit at this point for having kept her in the dark. She told me she felt very betrayed and after calling me some choice names and saying she was confused she grabbed her purse and just left the house. I have no idea where she went, but I didn't try to stop her. She was very, very upset. I feel like the worst husband slash father in the world right now. I went in to speak to my son and he was pretty unhappy too since he could hear everything, obviously was in no hurry to come out of his room for that. He isn't very happy that I told his mom about today and the incident before but after speaking with him briefly I think he understands that it was necessary. So basically my family was torn apart today over a dog. I need a beer or something. As for rehousing the dog, I suspect we'll probably have to do that, but there's a lot we need to sort through first. I'm sure there is an uncomfortable family meeting in our future. Thanks for the advice and for being there Reddit. Update 2. Wow. Front page. Thanks for the outpouring of support. I hope nobody I know is a Redditor. Didn't quite expect this to get so big, ha ha ha. Well, anyways, my wife is still gone. I tried to call her on her cell just one time and she didn't pick up, so I got the message. I've just been in the yard with Colby on the computer having a beer. This is crazy. I wish fatherhood slash marriage came with a guidebook. I guess Reddit is kind of close, right? Well except for the odd people saying rehome the sun and all of those super. Helpful. Suggestions. I'll keep you updated as the night goes on. Hopefully my wife actually does return at some point. As for my son, all he's done is make a hot pocket and go back to his room. Basically just being a teenager in trouble. Edit. Since a lot of you are curious, my son is 15 years old. I posted this in a comment in the original thread, I thought I had included it in the main post but I realize I did not. Hope that helps. Update 3. Okay, well, my wife called me to say she is staying at her sister's house tonight to clear her head. She has calmed down a bit but said she doesn't think she can handle all of this tonight. 
I said I understood and apologized again profusely for not telling her sooner. I tried to explain what another Redditor mentioned about how the first incident was a weird male adolescent sexual thing and he was embarrassed and thought he could confide in me and trust me. She was pretty unmoved by that argument and thinks I should have told her. I guess I was wrong. When we got off the phone I said I love you and she just hung up. This is probably up there as my worst day in recent memory, at least since the day I found out my son sodomized my dog the first time. As for my son, I have seen no sign of him since he made his hot pocket, however for about 40 minutes now I've been hearing what I'm guessing is dubstep coming from his room. I don't know. I'm too old to even want to know. Colby will sleep in my room tonight, and tomorrow hopefully the wife will be calm enough to discuss what to do with him. She loves that dog a lot, I am not sure how she is going to want to move forward with all of this. For my part, I can already think of two families we know that would probably be happy to take the Colbster. Jesus what a day. Thanks Reddit. Update 3. A lot of Redditors were very supportive and helpful with this delicate situation, and I received many letters offering to take in our dog Colby after the second incident, it was really touching to have so many people reach out. I have also gotten a lot of messages asking for an update on what has happened since the last post. Well, a hell of a lot has happened to my family since then, and none of it has been very good. Basically after hiding the first incident from my wife, I felt obligated to tell her about it when I caught my son sexually abusing Colby again. Turns out not telling her the first time around was probably the worst decision I have ever made. My wife did not take the news well at all. As I mentioned in my last post, she left the house to stay with her sister for a few days, and wouldn't pick up my calls. The breach of trust and the fact that I hid something so serious from her really pissed her off. To be honest, our marriage has already been pretty rocky the last year or two, for reasons I'd prefer not to get into. So this was just one more bump in the road that our relationship really didn't need. To be fair, I was only trying to be a good father to my son, and I thought I could keep the initial incident between him and I to protect him from further humiliation. It would have been okay if he had kept his word that he would not abuse the dog ever again, unfortunately he did not and I had to involve his mom. Admittedly, I should have just done that from the beginning. So after staying at her sister's house for a few days my wife came home and we got into several arguments over the next week or so about our son and what to do about this, and of course there was plenty of me being painted as the bad guy for not including her on a major parenting issue. I decided to take Retta's advice that we should start looking for a new home for Colby, since he obviously wasn't going to be safe with us anymore. My wife did not like this idea, and after several more arguments I come to find out that she suspects our son never even abused the dog to begin with. She tells me that she has spoken to our son about it and he denied ever doing anything. So basically I had my son denying he ever sodomized the dog, and my wife now pissed off because she is hearing two conflicting stories from us. She even brought up in the heat of our argument that she thinks if anything I sodomized the dog, which as you can imagine made me absolutely furious. So to make a long story short, we did not resolve anything, and have only become more embittered with each other. This, along with a few other marital issues, finally led to my wife asking for a trial separation about three weeks ago. My son has decided to live with her, and so I have moved out to a friend's house temporarily while I try to figure out what we are going to do next. I know you guys are probably going to be pissed about this, but Colby is still living with my wife and son, I tried to take him with me but this only lead to more friction and infuriating jabs from my wife, why so you can sodomize him again and blame it on your son you sick fuck etc etc. This whole thing has just become a complete nightmare. I have tried to confront my son about denying what he did to his mom and he won't even talk to me and has just started taking the stance that I'm crazy. I guess he thought he saw a way out of all of this and decided to just throw his dad under the bus. That is probably the most hurtful part of this entire ordeal, to be honest. I'm used to having my wife be a complete bitch to me at this point but the betrayal by my son who I was only trying to help is like a knife in my heart. That being said, I have to remind myself he is just a kid in an awkward situation, and try not to hold it against him. After all if my wife and I wind up with a divorce down the road he is going to be the only thing I love, so I am trying not to do irreparable damage to our relationship. I feel like I've done enough damage to this family. And all of this over a goddamn Labrador. I wish I could say my priority at this time was still on Colby's safety, but I would be lying. My relationship with my family is in tatters and I don't know what to do to fix it. Obviously I would still like to see Colby rehomed as well but I feel like I need to focus on fixing my relationship with my wife and son so my life can go back to normal. So Reddit, I know this is kind of a unique situation but I'm sure Therese got to be some of you out there who have had something similar happen to you. Any advice for a dad who is losing control? Update 4. To put a long story short, I discovered my teenaged son had sexually abused our family dog, 
Colby, with a hairbrush in his fingers a few months ago. After I confronted him about it, he confessed, and promised never to do it again, and in return I agreed to keep it between him and I and not tell his mom. A while later, I discovered my son reneged on his promise to me, and had abused the dog again. This time I felt I had to bring my wife into the matter, and when I told her, it all blew up in my face. She couldn't believe her son would do that sort of a thing, and she eventually got it into her head somehow that it must have been me that abused the dog. A short while after telling her about these incidents, we separated, and she wound up with the dog and my son, who when confronted went back and denied that he had ever done anything to the dog, despite admitting to me that he had, and me actually catching him in the act a different time. So the last time I updated, I had been living at a friend's house while my wife and son, and Colby, stayed at the family house. My wife was somehow convinced that I was the abused of our dog and that I was blaming it on my son, which is maybe the most confusing and infuriating feeling I have ever had. I tried calling my son for several days and hoped that I could convince him to come clean and help get us on the road to fixing our family. He did not pick up nor did he ever call me back. So about two weeks ago I decided to show up at the house when I knew they would all be there. I knocked on the door and my wife would not answer it. I admit I kind of lost it and started shouting and pounding on it, and she eventually came outside, where a yelling match ensued between her and I in the front yard. I finally left after she just put her hands over her ears and started yelling dog fucker, dog fucker, dog fucker over and over again to try to humiliate me in front of the neighborhood. As I walked back to my car fuming I looked back at the house and saw my son staring at me from the second story window with a blank look on his face. I stared at him and shook my head in disappointment, but he didn't change his expression. I have to admit, that really broke my heart and pissed me off. So fast forward to just a couple days ago. I am at work, nearing the end of my day, when suddenly my phone rings and it's my wife. I pick it up, and she's sobbing and obviously very upset. She tells me that Colby has bitten my son, and he has gone to the hospital to get stitches. She says Colby bit him in the lower abdomen, two times. She doesn't know what to think. Obviously, I know exactly what happened. I could tell she finally knew I was right. Colby would never bite anyone unprovoked, he is an incredibly friendly dog and has no history of biting or being aggressive at all. When we got off the phone, I felt this rage building inside of me. I felt like it was finally time for this shit to end. Colby had stood up for himself against my son, who had betrayed both of us. I couldn't prove it, but I just know my son was abusing the dog again, and I felt responsible for having left him alone with Colby all of these times. It was like Colby finally lashed out in desperation after having nobody there to protect him. I felt sick to my stomach for having abandoned my dog with my kid, who obviously doesn't give a fuck about me or any of us, as long as he can keep getting away with shit. I left work and went straight to the family home. This time, my wife answered the door and let me in. I went straight to my son's room, where he was laying down watching TV. He looked at me in surprise and I told him not to talk. I basically said I know what you did, you can deny it and you can blame me all you want, but you and I both know what happened. I am taking the dog, and if I ever find out you go near an animal like this again I will report you to the police, I don't care if you are my son. This is disgusting and unfair, and I raised you better. Obviously I said more than that, but that was the gist of it. He was extremely uncomfortable. Then I went downstairs and out the back door to get the dog. I put a leash in Colby and walked him back through the house, and my wife stopped me and told me she was sorry. We talked for about five minutes, and we both got a little weepy. She asked me to forgive her, which I told her I did. She then invited me to stay at the house, to which I said no. I'm not ready for that, and Colby deserved better, I had already let him down too many times. I left her crying in the house, and put Colby in the car. We drove back to my friend's place, where I am staying. I've since been looking for a small apartment with a short-term lease that accepts dogs, as I have decided that I am not going to move back in with my family. At least not in the immediate future. Colby is finally with me, and is safe, and I need time to think about what our next move should be. I know that asking my friend to house me and now a dog is pushing the bounds of his good grace, so this is what has to happen. A lot of you have written to me asking for updates, and I apologize for not getting back to all of you. Mostly, I had no significant changes in the situation until all of this. But I thought you all deserve to know that the dog is safe. However, I still do not know what I'm going to do about my son and wife. Do you think I should report him as is? The more I think about it, the more I am sure he will probably just do this again. Colby might be safe, but I am still, despite all he's done to me, worried about my son. He is a minor, so legally I am still responsible for him. What sort of thing does one do for somebody who does this? Final update. Three years later op posted and asked me anything, 
but it was taken down by the mods. However, he left this comment on another post in 2018, six years later after the first post. Things are better. Colby, sadly, passed away about a year ago. But he was getting up there for a dog his size, and it was of natural causes. I'm not sure I want to talk much about my son, but I'll say he and I are much better than we were in 2012 when the incident took place. It's not something we talk about with one another. I hope and pray he no longer fantasizes or concerns himself with that type of behavior. If he does, I wouldn't know about it since he lives on his own now. As for my ex-wife. Well, she wound up in therapy after losing her job. Honestly we don't communicate much, but I do not hear good things about what she's up to now. There are rumors of drugs and certain favors, etc. I don't really want to get into it for my son's sake. As for me, I've been with a new woman for a few years now, and things are much better. She has a son as well, and we get along just fine. I have to say life is funny, who would have ever thought my son putting something in our dogs behind would lead us all down such strange paths. Sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I had never caught him doing it, but who knows. Life is crazy, folks. Love your dogs.